is Dylan, this is Kristen, and this is uh, Ethan. Ben, sorry. Uh, and we're just, uh, we appreciate the opportunity to do this, and uh, obviously we're here to talk about how we can make uh, the Oklahoma Family Network uh, more uh, recognized of the, not only just the agency in itself, but getting the opportunities that you provide to families, uh, making that very public, and uh, just not what we're going to critique about you, but why it matters and what we're going to do once we actually have critique. Yeah, the, one of the major goals that you said you wanted was us to go through all your marketing pieces and see kind of what our, our ideas from our internships and our life through college can help just give you ideas on how to make things better. And we, we want to start with the theme. We love the logo and everything about it. Um, but we can go through some marketing pieces that you have. And some of them have different colors to them, and we feel that if you would have, um, if you can have more of a um, consistency with the coloring, that all your marketing pieces will connect together, and it'll um, be better for your brand. Um, you can have more than just one color, but I'm um, just keeping them all consistent. So, looking at some of the different uh, literature pieces that you've given us of. Uh, that you can hand out and give to people. That is very important when building relationships and when you're trying to give people contact information, give them information about um, what the program is and what it consists of. Uh, also, it is very important, though, our world is moving to online. So we will. We're, we looked at the, the print products and how we think to update them and what we can do graphically to update them um, to make it more appealing. But also we focused on the online and Facebook and social media. So I'm just going to discuss a little bit. Uh, we have these scanned in so you all can see them. Our, our first thing that we were looking at is we think we should take both of these and make them up front and back. So it's a one card, hand it out. It's not handing out two or three different things. Um, and like we said, I, this logo, I love looking at graphics. And this logo is very appealing. It grabs my attention. Um, the colors on these are consistent already. What we would suggest is making your name bigger. Um, I personally would make sure it's bigger than your title because that's what's going to stand out and that's how they're going to know who to contact. As well as making the name bigger, you're going to want to make the phone number bigger because that's phone numbers are always easy to get into contact with someone. And then uh, just a little graphic thing looking at is that the, um, like the alignment, um, just working on, and I don't know who does the graphics for the company, but just to update, looking at graphics is very important. And so just the alignment and making sure everything, like just offsetting, like the names make it bigger, things like that. And then on the back, we would go ahead and have the info card, and we would completely take out this second card that y'all had. Um, we would take that one out because it's, pre it's repetitive to that info card. But What's wrong with this one, we think, is there's too much information, too much wording. So the information is good, but I think it's important to, to lessen it. So reading through them, you can kind of see that the first bullet kind of transitions really well with this talking about the support and sharing experiences. And then the second bullet transitions really well into the leadership and leadership and training. So I think you can concise them, make it less information so it's, there's more white space and it's easier, when you go pick up a card or someone hands you a card, you're gonna want just something real quick to read and then following that, you would have the website to get more information, the phone number, the QR code, and we also think it would be really uh, important and helpful for the company to put the Facebook logo so they know there's also a Facebook website because that consists with the social media. So that's looking at that aspect. Um, then next we have the contact info card. Oh yeah, so we're gonna do away with that one. <laughs> and then, so then we have these two cards, which we had the oldest and the old, and we went the new. Um, we thought that the information was, uh, there was some redundancy, and that's okay because you want to get your point across, but we also thought it would be good to make a front and back for this as well. Um, we know printing-wise, it's costly, but if you look at it, if you have two different cards, um, it's going to cost more than doing a front and back because it's more paper, but I know you're trying to merge them anyway. So we think if we can merge them to a front and back with the front focusing on the family-to-family -family support and then the back focusing 
focusing on training. Um, that's, and then also taking away a little bit of wording, just simplifying the wording so it's easy to read, and then putting the contact information to push them to go to the website, to push them to go to Facebook, to push them to social media, um, wherever y'all are growing online, that's where we want to push them. So adding the QR code, things of that nature. I would also make the, uh, the phone number bigger again, because I think phone numbers are very important. And then we move on to the brochures. So we have two different companies, one's networking with, the, they're networking with each other, one's uh, the Children's Behavioral is kind of under the Oklahoma Family Network. Uh, so just looking at the brochure, we definitely think this is graphically appealing. We do like it. Um, and I think it's, it grabs my attention. If it were to be sitting next to this one, I would definitely grab this one first. And uh, the one thing looking at it would be the color, would be how we talked about consistency. So, uh, not to like go back and forth, but looking at these, we noticed there was, you added like, there was green, purple, yellow, blue, so there's a whole bunch of different color. And color is good, but we think it needs to be consistent throughout. Um, so if you want to have that many colors, then just be consistent and have that throughout the brochures and so people will recognize the colors you choose for your color scheme. Um, another thing that we thought would be of advantage would be the photos, which I know they mentioned photos too. Um, having more personable photos. Uh, we know in some situations you can't have the, like, you're gonna have to have permission obviously to use photos, but if you're in a meeting or like you're doing a support group and you get permission from everyone there to have the photos of people interacting and so whenever I were to go pick up this brochure, it'd be people, like real people that I see and there's, it's not just the smiling pictures, it's a, it's interaction and it's real life. Um, so that's a huge thing that I think would impact uh, any of the print uh, brochures, uh, info cards, anything like that. I think the photos will could be a deal breaker for that. And um, so that's pretty much, I think the next slide, yeah, that's the inside of it. And how maybe adding more photos and just, uh, we think the spacing of the content is as well. It's, uh, it's not too much. It's, there's the testimonies parts, which kind of pulls people in, and there's info. One thing we think that definitely needs to be added, either somewhere with contact information, is Facebook again, social media, QR code, anything leading them to online. And so that's that brochure. And then going to the final brochure, we have the Children's Behavioral Health Network. This one, um, personally, just graphically, is how I think you can improve it. I think the content's great. The, the way it's bulleted, everything about it is great, except graphically. I would just maybe more color, more, um, like I said, I don't know who does the graphics, but I would just work on more than just the three column, please go to the next one. Um, the three column, like adding some type of, you know, like a diagonal line through the three pages, so it kind of makes it look like a spread instead of three individual columns, because when you make it, Spread, it's going to make it all interact where, interact, where you realize the Oklahoma Family Network, Naomi, this children's um, behavioral health, they all connect together, and you want connections. So I think making it look like one layout would be more beneficial. Um, like I said, those are the print layouts, print designs. Um, those are some things we just looked at and we think could help update to make them more appealing. People grab them, look at them more, um, and help push towards online since online is where the world is going. So with that, we'll move on to Facebook. On Facebook, um, one of the things that we've noticed is the cover photo is messing with your heading and your name of your Facebook page. And so one thing that we have we know is that your profile photo should be your logo. And so um, the logo of the company and this cover photo can be the picture or it can be, it can change every single week if you wanted it to, but the cover or your profile photo should never change. Um, just to keep a consistency, consistency to your page. Um, we know that you have a lot of other Facebook pages. Uh, maybe your regional Facebook pages could go down to groups instead of having their own pages, have Facebook groups. But if that's not a capability, maybe your, your profile um, photo, you could change the color of the logo to each region and have a color coded to each region. And so that'll separate the Facebook pages 
um, that are out there on Facebook. Um, when it comes to your website, um, one, of the, we, um, one thing that we do notice is there needs to be more pictures. Um, the home page has too many words on there. So what you could do is you could have um, links to other pages. So you can make them into, um, like have the headline of the article and the picture of it, and that you click on it and you can go to another page. So it has more white space and to your website. And um, but more white space is needed for a home page. And then you go to other pages and it'll be, um, you can have your article. Um, so obviously, once we streamline all the branding, something needs to be done with it. Um, it wouldn't make sense to rebrand yourself and then just keep it to yourself and not share it with anybody. So we came up with the idea of doing an open house campaign. And so it would be a regional event, the regions that you showed us in the map. Um, it would be separated out per region. There would be one event per, per region. Uh, and it would, uh, it would all depend on... Um, we, it would be a networking event, and it, it would talk, be all about inviting community members of each region, specific to the region, uh, to each event. And it could be hosted in uh, a local conference center, a local hotel. It's, uh, it would be more so someone willing to open their doors, because this is about involving the community, involving local business support, uh, and getting uh, community members involved. So it, most of this would be done through the donation and the charity of uh, local businesses and local community members. Um, so the first purpose would be uh, generally to raise the awareness of the Oklahoma Family Network. I personally have never heard of it before today. And so uh, to raise awareness in the general public, um, it may increase the uh, possibility of someone wanting to volunteer. If it's put on their heart to volunteer, uh, they can't really do that unless they know what the Oklahoma Family Network even is, let alone what they even do. Um, through raising awareness, we hope to uh, provoke an intrinsic value with the public. Uh, that connection will either move them to volunteer, to support parents, uh, to donate, support financially, uh, and then through that, more families will be helped uh, and it will increase uh, volunteer activity. Uh, as far as the outreach goes to this event, uh, press release for each region would be drafted, and then it would be uh, sent to state aid, uh, news agencies, local radio stations. Uh, I know plenty of local radio stations have uh, on-time air set aside for nonprofits that they will run the ads for free, and so we could take uh, advantage of those. Uh, running a Facebook and, and uh, Instagram uh, campaign. Uh, obviously, I completely agree. Pictures are it's, pictures are worth a thousand words, and so to use Instagram to uh, to put a face to who are being helped um, definitely would show the public it'd be a lot more beneficial to the public. They'd feel like they're actually part of it, and so uh, to advertise on their website, advertise on Facebook, and advertise on Instagram, like, hey, this is the event, this is what's happening, and then during the event, uh, take the pictures and be putting them up on social media, so uh, in case the an event like several hours long, they can see a picture and they're like, well, maybe I do want to go to that now. And then um, also, if we could get a statement from Mary Fallon, uh, at the very least, uh, in support of this, that would certainly in and of itself garner uh, news attention. Um, and if she would have time, if, if personally inviting her to an event, seeing if she could possibly stop by, uh, would bring a lot of attention to it. Uh, how we would follow up to this would be to uh, measure media impressions, uh, measure, measure social media hits, you know, likes on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, but then probably the most important would be the thank you to the public uh, on the website, on social media, um, and then uh, a personal news story. Using the newsletter that you already have, using your social media accounts, get some testimonies from people, from new volunteers that are getting involved that are really excited about it, get some testimony from some of the people that have been helped by new volunteers, uh, and then of course you yourself and any other regional uh, coordinators giving their own uh, testimonies to just how the night impacted you personally as uh, employees. And so uh, I know that through an event like this, the rebranding would not just be blown over and it would actually uh, would gain a lot of attention and be beneficial to your 